Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Now here's a quick wrap up of your Monday morning headlines. The stimulus bill that will provide relief to millions of Americans has been signed. President Trump signed the $900 billion bill days after saying he was not happy with it. He argued that Americans should receive $2,000 in stimulus checks instead of the $600 that was first approved. He also greenlighted a bill that would avoid a government shutdown. The signing comes after two pandemic related unemployment benefits expired over the weekend. The holiday travel rush is in full swing. Many travelers flooded South Florida airports, deciding to travel and head out for the holidays, despite warnings and growing concerns from health leaders and officials. Miami International says it's expecting its busiest day on New Year's Day. Health officials ask if you are traveling, you continue wearing a mask and social distance. A fight between neighbors turns deadly in Hollywood after someone starts shooting. Officials were caught to a home on Taft Street yesterday afternoon where they found a man had been shot. He was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital where he died. Hollywood police say they have detained the suspected shooter. And authorities have named the bomber behind the Christmas Day blast in downtown Nashville. He is identified as 63-year-old Anthony Warner. Investigators say they were able to match DNA samples from the blast scene with samples obtained from Warner's property. They say Warner died at the scene and are still searching for a motive. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.